Yeah. Yo, you, you was just in New York, right? Right. When I tell you I had an amazing time in New York. Yeah. Because this it was, was probably the first time that I've been in New York and experienced real New York nightlife. Mm. So um, I was there for the verses, the Triggerverse fight. And then um, they also had Wyclef Jean and Super Cat perform, mm -hmm. which was amazing, by the way. Um, Wyclef had brought out uh, Barrington Levy. He did yeah, some that was songs. Crazy. That was crazy. He brought out uh, Baby Sham. Mm-hmm. And um, Busted Rhymes came on and did his thing real quick, and then he just kind of like dropped the mic and was like, find me a worthy versus opponent, and just left. Find me a worthy versus opponent. I see you tomorrow. Yeah, what was up with that when... Like Buster came on and dropped the mic, and then yeah. Wyclef was like, "Really, Buster? Really? Yeah. Well, was was he joking? Was he was Wyclef joking. joking? He was joking. Okay, okay. But it okay. was like it was dope the way he did it because I thought he, I think Wyclef thought Buster was gonna come on there and do like a little set. Yeah, yeah. And he just did it. It was like, "Yo, find me a worthy versus opponent." And the crowd was like, "Oh shit!" Like, who? Everyone was saying Missy would be a good opponent for him. I, yeah, really? That'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah. I saw everyone say be. Double L, Cool J. Oh no, mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Man. I want to know what never thinks. Nah, a little Cool J. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah. Too, Too much. Because when I think of Busta, I think of like party, features, party records. No, mm -hmm. I think of features. Yeah, I think of like the most. Every time he's on a feature, he bodies it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And when I think of Missy, like the early Missy, mm -hmm. she was doing the same thing. She was just on features. Like she didn't even have but an album killing, out, and mm -hmm. she had like f like five hit records on features, right? Something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. so, that actually would be a good versus, I think. Because I was even in my head, I'm like, who could battle? Who could battle Busta? Mm -hmm. And be successful because Busta had such a good run. He had his early stuff, and then he had his era with Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Plus his features, plus like the uh, the early stuff with um, Leaders of the New School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like he got, I got, I can't even think of it. He probably got at least thirty in the bag, right? But I'm thinking like if Missy does it, can she do like songs that she didn't sing on but she wrote? Yeah. Because that's crazy. Mm, I don't know about that, man. She, I mean, she got to perform. No, no, she could because. Didn't Jada she, Kiss just did that And his verses versus Fab But didn't she write One in a million Like all that Leah shit Yeah, yeah. Genuine shit yeah. Genuine mm -hmm. Dude that's crazy D'Angelo I don't yeah. know Yeah, yeah. I mean D'Angelo nah, Missy She didn't write for D'Angelo <laughs> I thought she wrote for D'Angelo <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing D'Angelo <laughs> nah. I swear I read somewhere that she I was like wait D'Angelo uh, <laughs> Yeah I don't remember that moment I know right <laughs> look it up. Maybe I'm yeah. I, No D'Angelo like D'Angelo wrote, wrote his he, own shit He plays all his own instruments Yeah man He was just known as like when he first came up, yeah. he was known as like almost like the like new the, prince. Yeah, I'd like to say that. Because he could do drums, organs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. guitar. Yeah. And he wrote his own shit. Yeah, he wrote all his own shit. But definitely yeah. Genuine and Aaliyah yeah. was like, a lot of their catalog was written by Missy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, that's, that's that would be a dope versus though. It would, yeah. 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 I had a real embarrassing moment though. What's up? <laughs> what happened? What happened? So like Swiss Beats. They, he came in like during Wyclef's set, right? So I'm like in the front just kind of filming stuff. Yeah. And then like later on, I see this dude and I was like, oh shit, that's Steve Stout. Like, yo, I gotta, you know what I mean? So I went up to him and I was like, Mr. Stout, pleasure Mr. to meet Stout. you. <laughs> 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 yeah. but, I mean, he, he, yo, he he's, he's an old yo, he's dude. Like a like, 19, <laughs> he's like a 1950s newspaper boy, right? <laughs> hey, Mr. <So>. Stout. <laughs> <laughs> <Mr>. Stout. <laughs> so like, he didn't have like the what is that the, the nah he just had like, that, that cap the um the newspaper the, the, boy caps yeah uh -huh. I was just it's like just I was like yo man like he pa he crossed paths with me right he crossed paths with me and I was like yo like pleasure to meet you and he didn't say nothing and then his boy was like hey man that ain't that ain't Steve Stout bro <laughs> that it was it was Joaquin Dean. The dude from uh, the Rough Riders, the CEO. How you oh. get them confused? They look alike, bro. They both have bald heads and like the goatee, like the salt and pepper goatee. I don't know. Steve Stout is very particular. So when you said Mister Stout, <laughs> he just looked at me and like but kept Steve walking. Stout usually like wearing suits, and but he was he was in like a like a real classy sweatsuit nah, and like some Steve glasses. Stout wouldn't Steve be Stout like that. Exactly. It was, and I just I don't know why I just assumed it was him. And so he was his boy was like, "Hey man, like that ain't." Do they look know. alike? I think so, man. No, in no, that moment. Don't. I don't know. So then, <laughs> no way. Now, now I need to see a picture. Google it. So then yeah. I like later I like saw him again, and I was like, "Fuck, man!" This dude. <laughs> we like crossed really? the paths. You like, know what you should have done? What you should have been like? Oh shit, Rough Riders! You should have. <laughs> you should have <laughs> said so what's like, up to him. As I'm leaving, like I got my like bag with me. I'm going out the back way to get to my my ride, and yeah. I see him again, and I was like, "Fuck, man!" And so I just kind of like gave him a nod, and he kind of chuckled, and he like. Patted me on the back, but like really hard. Like, yeah. like get out the way, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed, man. I felt bad. All right, so you caught the verses on Saturday with Wyclef, right? Yeah. But you didn't catch 
the big one with KRS nah, versus Big I was, Daddy Kane. I was flying back here, so I caught like the tail end of it. Mm. Yeah, I was sick. I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like, a part of me wanted to stay, but yeah. then I didn't want to be tired. You know, us, us recording and everything. So I'm like, "Let me just get back and get some rest." And but I caught the majority of it. I caught the tail end of it. This is a, this is like the first verses. That's like some old school, like legend shit, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. With Karis One and Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. How how'd you feel about the you, you watched the whole thing, right? It was good, man. It was like I mean, this is my era. This is the hip hop I grew up on. So mm. it was dope to see both of them performing. Yeah. But honestly I felt like Karis One is no match for Big Daddy King. It really? should it should have been Rakim versus Big Daddy King. I was gonna say that. Yeah. That's more of an even matchup. They have like a similar deli- similar delivery. Exactly, so. yeah. yeah. So you're saying it's no match that I mean like Karis One got hits for days. Yeah. You made it seem like KRS One can't fuck with Kane right now. He's like no match for Kane. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The way nah, you nah, worded nah. it. <laughs> okay, nah, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah. KRS One is like, he, like there's like a he could have did another hour of music. KRS, KRS One, yeah. And, and Kane was starting to run out of hits. Damn. Well, yeah. they was going at it. <laughs> I mean, they were doing some desperate ass shit in that. Yeah, where, man. Like scratch. <laughs> I, I was wondering what was going on with Scratch, yo. Like, so Scratch was DJing for Kane, uh-huh. and. Kid Capri was DJing for KRS-One. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was weird because you would think Mr. C would be Kane's DJ. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, Mr. Mr. C, C was kind of bitter. He posted it on Instagram that he wasn't asked to DJ. Yeah, but is Mr. C is Big Daddy Kane's That's Big Daddy original, Kane's original, original DJ. DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's also, I mean, he discovered Biggie Smalls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's like, you know, we've had Big Ben on here. Big Ben. Oh, he, he, he's a monster. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. C is a monster. Yeah, man. And then... D Nice is originally. Well, I feel like with D Nice, I feel like he would have overshadowed the whole competition. I don't know. Everybody would have been focused on D Nice. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I was I expecting so. D Nice is from uh, no, Boogie, Boogie Down, Down Productions. Production, yeah. Karis wants DJ. Why wasn't the OGs there? But I That's feel like, like I said, I feel like I would have been like, oh, D Nice, D Nice. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, I feel like bit, he would have done. His, I would feel like he would have played. I would have been a good addition to it, but I don't think it would have overshined the situation. I honestly I'm, thought D Nice was going to be there. To, to DJ I think that would have been. Oh, you Yo. think D Nice asked for too much money? <laughs> no, I think I think he would have done it for free. No, I don't know, man. For KRS, it is D Nice though now. Bro. Yeah, man. You talking about yeah, but it's KRS. Dude, DJ KRS, you crazy? He would have just know, done man. that, man. I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know, Kirk. The bag is crazy. <laughs> that's oh, no, not. Man. I don't think that's it. Man. I think I, maybe I'm with Kirk. Maybe, maybe he, he, right. he should have been there. Also, he wasn't even there in the audience. I you heard would he think, was there. You would think. You would think he. Oh, he was. I heard he was. But to say you would think he'd get on stage at least do a song together. I don't know, man. But you you really think <laughs> you? Really There's like industry that, shit. But, I swear exactly. to God, that Mr. C and Kane shit. That's some industry shit. No, it is, is, it yeah, is. it's both industry shit. That's but but Kick a Pre used to rock with um, Karis One back in the day. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I could see that. I could see that him being a DJ for, for sure, that for event. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If Kick a Pre could do it, D Nice should be is, should be able to do it. I know D Nice is in another stratosphere right now, but you know what I'm saying. You I think might, I might think, be too big time. Yeah. I don't know about that. I, the Mister C is weird though. It's like certain yeah. people you could big time. I, don't, I can't. I can't picture D Nice big time in KRS. I was just. I was confused. It just seemed like Scratch was doing all these audibles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Throughout the performance, right? Yeah, and then the the whole thing about him wanting to battle Kid Capri, I was just like, "Why are you doing this right now?" Yeah. Like, hey, yo, KRS. Since we doing all this hip hop shit, right? We did the MCs. Y'all did the freestyle battle. You had the b boy dances. So we got to do the main element. The first element of hip hop is the DJ shit. What you think? Now, this is called Versus. Yeah. You got to come with the hits. Fuck that cutting shit. <laughs> I'm here to battle Kane, not you. <laughs> you here to work for Kane, not Capri. <laughs> Let's get in our place. Yo, Capri, throw the real shit Be on. Be scared. Throw that shit on. Fuck that. Y'all running out of records. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> All that freestyle. Fuck that. Let's get these hits. Let's get these hits. Karis One had to put him in his place. Oh, wait. What'd he say? <laughs> he was like, yo, this is the Kane versus Karis One. This ain't no DJ battle shit. <laughs> no. He, the way he come to see you. <laughs> well, he was just, oh, fuck. He's like, enough with that cutting shit. He yeah. was like, this. Damn. This is all about, this is about hits. And he's like, oh, this is about shit. hits. It's not about cutting and all that, like, DJ shit. Yeah. But, but, sh- but Scratch is out of nowhere. Yo, let's do this. This is me and you, Kick a Pre. Let's go one-on-one. Yeah. <laughs> 
I know you gonna do. Kid Capri in the building, y'all. I got something for that. That was nothing. Nah, I nah, could nah, do that. Nah, 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 nah. We we good. We good. You sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. KRS still got some work to get in, man. Come on, man. That's enough. That's enough. Yo. I feel like this was his. Because remember last year, Scratch and Kid Capri had that little got beef. into it. Yeah. yeah, they had that about little the, beef. But the Cash App, remember the Cash oh, App? Oh yeah, the yeah. Cash App. All right, so wait, wait. There's a little backstory, right? I forgot about that. You forgot? I, I forgot didn't forget about that. I didn't forget about that. Damn. I remember that <laughs> shit. I remember that shit. So Scratch was on IG Live, right? This is when everyone started hopping on IG Live. Yes. And D Nice was blowing up on IG Live when the pandemic started. Yeah. And I think Scratch was maybe one of the first DJs. No, no, no. D Nice had his Cash App up too, right? I'm not sure. Did he? I think he did. I think a I bunch of DJs. Anyway, Let's all of these DJs had yeah, their yes. Venmo and their Cash App up. Yeah. Yes. And the Kid Capri went up and he was just like, yo, man, like, motherfuckers ain't working right now. Mm. It's like, yo, it's fucked up for you to have your Cash App and Venmo yeah. out. Like, honestly, like, we're doing this for the culture. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing it for the culture and you want to establish DJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't have your you Cash App doing out. That shit. And yeah. the Scratch took that shit personal and went at Kid Capri and they kind of went at each other. Yeah. yeah. But then there was talks about they were talking shit like I think at some point Kid Capri was like, yo, I'm motherfuckers were like, yo, Kid Capri's the greatest DJ of all time kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like Scratch was holding on to that. Yeah. <laughs> for like a for like a year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a year and a half. And this was his time to kind of like shine. Settle that shit. We'll just be like, you know it what? Let's settle, yeah. Let let's get let's let's take care of this shit right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I also, yo, I I kind of feel bad for Scratch sometimes. Why is that? Because I feel like he was one of the first DJ streaming live. Uh huh. Like he was. He like, was. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the first DJ. He streaming had that live. scratch vision. Yeah. App. And then he kind of had to see like D Nice blow up, mm -hmm. and Clark Kent, and like kick like all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. I feel like he's one of those OGs that like. I get know, first. He don't get his credit. Well, he just started getting his credit. With the verses, right? Mm -hmm. Because he was killing it, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what, what he deserves. And like, I feel like he was just like, now's the time for me to like, let everybody know. Set the record straight on who's the, the best, best DJ. DJ. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it was a little, there was a, I always say is there was a lot of ego in that, in oh, that hell, arena, in that room, man. Yeah. Even yeah. Karis won, man. He was like, <laughs> he was going at Kane. You know, yeah. Kane is a class act, man. I know, yeah. I was actually yeah. really, uh, I was fucking with Kane's energy, man. Mm -hmm. Like, he was really on some like, he was cool. Da smooth dapper. Yeah. Like, all right, you keep talking that rah rah shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, I I'm good. I smashed Madonna and Naomi exactly. Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> Same damn time. You don't time. care. <laughs> yeah. I got my, my, my fedora on. Yeah, he was rocking that fedora for real, yeah. too. He probably had the clean. dapper dance suit on. Man, he was With those Versace, red, the red Versace sneakers. Yeah, yeah, he was clean, man. <laughs> KRS looked like he just came from a, a construction job. Yeah. He looked like he was just walking the, <laughs> he was walking the streets. He found the mic. He's like, yo. <laughs> yo, KRS one looked like he finished that Red Lobster and was like, yo, fuck it. I'll, I'll go, I'll I'll go to Barclays. To Barclays. <laughs> on my way home, I'll stop by Barclays. Oh, man. It's like, to ask his manager, can I finish my shift early? I got a battle at Barclays. Plays, yo. He almost walked out with the apron on. I was like, oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but that's what I love about KRS, yo. Yeah. I love that he's just like. It's he's just all, all about the music. Yo, and that's what I notice about these rappers, too. Like, when the rappers or MCs, when they don't give a fuck about how they look mm -hmm. and they're all about the skills, mm -hmm. they always outshine the they other rapper yeah. who's, who cares about how he looks a little bit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like Jada Kiss and. and and Dip Rocks. said, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Karis when just came off, like, he just took the train there. Yeah. Like, he don't he give a fuck. probably did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he jumped the turnstile. You can tell he, like, one of them dudes that don't ever need security. Yeah. He don't need nothing, bro. He, he just walking the streets, getting love from everybody. Ain't nobody messing with Karis in the streets. If you want to check the full episode of this clip, click the video on the left. Or if you'd like to continue watching more road clips, click the video on the right. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and get updated on new clips and videos from Road Podcasts throughout the week. Peace.